Want to start sending text messages in high level, but you keep getting those pesky emails saying your A2P campaign has failed. Well, in the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to get that approval, how to submit everything correctly, build the right pages, have the right documents, everything you need so that you can start sending text messages right away. Check it out. Welcome back, high level hustlers. Okay, so let's talk A2P 10 DLC. What the heck even is that? So, A2P stands for application to person, and 10 DLC is the 10 digit long code, which our phone numbers are 10 digits. So, pretty much this is the registration process that you need to go through in order to actually be approved to send text messages. Here's the reason why this even exists. So spam texts have been a problem for a long time. They've been getting worse and worse and worse. So the good old government, US of A, has said, we're going to start registering everybody who sends text messages so that we can start fining you if you abuse it and send things that you're not supposed to. If you send out a text message, you have to be able to show proof that that person has opted in to receive those messages. If you're sending text messages and they don't have that opt-in, then you're liable to get fined, and that's why we have to go through this registration process. It's a way for the government to try and slow down all these spammers. So this registration process is going to start off with a few things that you need first and foremost. The very first thing you need is your business. You can do this as a sole proprietor, but honestly, if you're in business, you're to the point where you're starting to text people, go, go get a business, go get an LLC. Like, it's not that expensive to do an LLC and all that, a couple hundred bucks at the most. Um, if Like even here in Utah, I can go online and I can start an LLC and I think it'll cost me like 20 bucks. So go get yourself an LLC. No DBAs, LLC, and you gotta have that EIN number, okay? The next thing you also gotta make sure that you have is an actual business website. So for example, mine is peaked.consulting, www.peaked.consulting, okay? And at that website, you also have to have an email address for the website, for the business. You can't have richard at gmail.com. It's got to be richard at peaked.consulting or something like that, right? You've got to have a business email address that matches the website. Now, on that website, you have to have a couple of things as well, okay? We're going to go through all of this, but you got to have a clear form that is A2P compliant that people can check the box to say, yes, I want to receive text messages. That is required. Also, you have to have a privacy policy and a terms and conditions. Now, those two documents, a lot of people are like, ah, I have no idea what to do with that. So go ahead, click the link below. I've got a free template for you. Now, I'm just going to put a caveat here. I am not a lawyer and you need to have a lawyer review your privacy policy, your terms and conditions, okay? You need that. It, it like This is a, a general use template that you can use. It'll help you can pass A2P with this, but it's not gonna actually protect you and your business. So make sure you actually go get this reviewed later, but you can use these templates for now to be able to go get your approval. Then we also have to have all of your like messaging of like sample messages. Luckily, High Level walks you through and gives you a bunch of this. But let's get started. Let's go through these steps. Hey, first of all, thanks for watching the YouTube video. I hope this is really helpful for you. And if there's anything that isn't that this isn't addressing for you, let me know in the comments below because that's why I'm here. I want to make this super easy for you. And I want to make the most value per minute possible. So here's the other thing. If you're here because you're wanting Go High Level to grow your business, you already know going into the platform it's like stepping into a car for the first time or a plane for the first time or something like that that you don't know how to drive. You know it can get there, but you don't know which buttons to push, what pedals to press, or what lever to pull. That's why I've created what I call the flight plan. The flight plan is something that I have made to help every high-level user take this massively powerful tool and understand how we can propel your business into what everyone wants, which is more customers and more revenue. If you want to see what that looks like for you, go ahead and visit this link because I have done this for lots of business owners. Many business owners use the flight plan and they take it and they run with their business. It's like a custom owner's manual between high level and your business that helps them talk to each other. If you want to know what that looks like, go ahead and click this link below and let's get right back to the content. So we're going to head into sites and then forms and builder and we're going to hit add form. Just start from scratch, okay? And it's going to bring up an already A2P compliant form, okay? 
we're going to make sure that we set that the first name is required, last name is required, email and phone. We're going to leave the double opt-in. We're not going to touch this, okay? This is what's going to help you get your A2P certified. Then we need to update these links. Right now, these are going to example.com. So we're going to go ahead and hover over this. We're going to select the privacy policy. We're going to then update that link to be a link to your actual privacy policy. So I'm going to do mine. Okay, and now we're going to update this one to then say the terms and conditions. Again, if you need to have a copy of this template, you can go ahead and click the link below and we'll send you this. What you got to do, you got to make sure that you replace the your business name in all these places and then also um, your website. Okay, as well as the subdomain thing here, the, your, your, your business website needs to be replaced and your business name needs to be replaced. Um, oh, and then also your state. Okay, so go ahead and download that by heading over to that link, fill out that form real quick. It'll then just redirect you over to this page and you can just copy paste this out of here. Okay, all right, now that we have this form, we're gonna put this on a, on a web page on your domain. This has to be hosted on a web page on your domain. For example, this is one of my clients on their website. They embedded this form. This is their high level form. You can see that it's got their terms and conditions and their privacy policy. It's got the double opt in. This page is what we use to submit to A2P and it was approved. So let's go ahead and get into how do we actually submit for A2P verification. So first thing you're gonna do, we're gonna head on down to settings and then you're gonna to go to phone numbers, and we're gonna actually purchase a phone number first thing, okay? To purchase a phone number, you come over here, add a phone number, you're gonna search for a phone number. If you wanna find one that's in your area code, you just hit this filter. Like for example, here in Utah, 385 is the first part of the phone numbers out here, and you choose a phone number and you proceed to buy it. It's two bucks a month, it's nothing. Just go ahead and buy this, okay? Now, now that we have this phone number purchased, we need to go over to the trust center and we need to do the brand and the campaign. So we're going to go ahead and hit start registering now. And we're going to say, okay, is a business ent entity in the U S yes. And yes, it has a tax ID. We're going to go ahead and hit continue right here. And you're going to fill out all of this information. Okay. You'll fill out your business name, your corporate, your type of business that you have. Um, that it's an EIN or uh, what what the EIN is and so forth, okay? Choose that it's in, U in the U.S. Then we're going to hit continue. You're going to add your address. We're going to hit continue. This is where you need to make sure that your email address is at your website. It matches the website that you put on this first page right here, this website, Okay, your business email needs to be at the same domain as your website URL. And then again, the email address. And then put your phone number, not the one that you're trying to get approved, your phone number will go right here. And then it's gonna ask you to verify your email address. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send that one-time password. Okay, we got that verified, the client. I had to give him a call, but we got that done. So now we're going to hit next. Low volume is what you're probably going to need. If you're going to be sending more than 6,000 um, text messages in a day, then you'll go for the high volume. It's a little bit more strict and it costs more money, but for most of us, low volume is going to be fine. So this will charge us, you know, about 25 bucks, um, an additional three bucks, but it's going to get done really quickly. This is a one-time fee. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to fill all this in. We can see the examples here. So we're gonna copy this example and then we're gonna paste it in here. Campaign sends appointment information, confirmation reminder messages once they have booked, an appointment with, now we need to put the company name here. That company name needs to match what we just put on that prior page, which is this one right here. on website, we're gonna say,
Let's go make sure that that's the web address. Contact. Okay, so this is the, the web address that has the, the double opt-in. This is the correct form. So we're going to put this in here. Okay, and then it says to receive promotional notification SMS from company name. So we're going to put the company name there again. Okay, so this is another thing. We're going to go see example. We're going to copy this, and then we're going to paste it right here. Hi, John. This is Bart from, and then we're going to put the, the company name in here. Our appointment is for, and I'm just going to change this. We're going to say September 20th at 1 o'clock p.m. Just making making it seem a little bit better. Now this phone number needs to be the phone number that we purchased. In case you need to reschedule, reply stop to unsubscribe. So now we're going to we're going to make sure that we get this one as well. This is Bart from Bart Merrill International Incorporated. I see you weren't able to make it for your appointment. Would you like to reschedule? And then we're going to give them that same website that has the double opt-in. Reply stop to unsubscribe. Okay, we are going to include links and we will include phone numbers in some of these messages. We're not doing any age-gated stuff. We're not doing anything directly, direct lending and loan arrangements, okay? So now, how are they going to receive their, their messages? We're going to copy this, and now we're going to paste that in there. And so let's go ahead and get that URL again. User checks the box, receive promotional notification. Additionally, they can send start to, and now we're going to put that phone number in here again. Okay, and then the opt-in message again, we're going to do copy, paste, from Bart Merrill International, I think is what it was called. Bart Merrill National Company. Okay, and then submit. One thing to keep in mind here is that this brand, this is going to be pretty quick, okay? You'll get this brand back really quick. As long as your EIN matches your business name, you should get this back pretty quickly. Now, I know we already went through and did the campaign, but for some reason, high level makes it to where you have to come back in here after the brand gets approved and resubmit the campaign. Just go ahead and do it again, okay? That's the only way I have found that to be working right now, so once this changes to approved, go ahead and here and just submit the campaign again and it will get done. So there you have it. That's how you submit your, for A2P approval. Now you might be thinking to yourself, I'm never going to send a message like that. Do I, do I have to like program it like that? Like for example, you saw in there, one of those messages said they're going to book an appointment on that website. That website has no way for someone to book an appointment. That doesn't matter. This is all for the one time to get you approved. You don't actually have to follow all of the, that stuff when you're actually in practice. This is just what you're using as an example. This is not what you're actually going to send people, okay? So go through, use those copies, copy the, those, those messages, and use those to be able to actually fill out all of those forms. So there you go. That's all the steps. You just need to make sure that you've got your business name, your EIN, your website, an email address that is at that domain, your privacy policy, your terms and conditions, and then submit all that sample messaging that High Level has made it super easy for you to be able to do that, and you'll and you'll get through it. And then once you get approved, honestly, you could go swap out that contact form for one that doesn't have the double opt-in. You can go use a contact form any other place, and you could even require the checkbox. You're technically not supposed to be like, this, this is just to get you approved, okay? If you have any questions, go ahead, drop them down in the comments below. Shoot me a text anytime. 
and make sure you hit that like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.